Welcome, welcome <laughs> to a new episode. This one, we're going to walk you through our freshly built I Susie. Hi, Zuzu. Yeah. NPS 4x4 truck. <laughs> here it is. This right here is our brand new 4x4 crew cab Isuzu truck. It boasts a 7.5 tonne gross vehicle mass and an 11 tonne combined mass. The front axle on this thing is rated to take 3.1 ton and the rear axle a whopping 6.6 .6 ton. Nearly the whole truck's vehicle mass. Alrighto! This is the big girl inside. She is super, super basic. So we've got Safety Dave which is connected up to the van and that shows us reversing. And we've got the HEMA um, X1 maps, which is what we use all the time for the off-road driving, all that sort of thing. And just your normal Isuzu screen. Everything in the front is super simple, um, four-wheel drive, buttons. It's actually got cruise control, which is pretty cool. The other thing we've installed is a um, UHF Uniden radio, which is pretty cool. The other thing when we were looking, we had to weigh up if we wanted a manual transmission or an auto. And um, we went with an auto. It's a personal preference. So anyway, in the back, super roomy, super spacious. So we've got um, Lennox and Finley sitting together at the moment. And we've got, we installed four child restraints in that has to be re-engineered when you get the truck. Um, and then yeah, Ollie on the other side, on um, the passenger side. There is two like storage things up the top, um, but yeah, that's heaps for us. Less stuff, less issues. <laughs> Alright, moving on, we'll show you um, the outside of the truck. Alright, so Lenny's ran through the inside with you. Now I'm going to do the outside. So I'm going to start at the front of the truck and move to the back. So up the front of the truck, starting down the bottom. We've got a three hoop bull bar, some big red spotties, big red light bar, and then the all terrain warriors bar, uh, cab bar work. So this bar runs up and connects with the root rack system. And then on this side, we've got unit and radio, 12 and 24 volt radio, which is important because this truck is 24 volt. There's also a Runva, a 17 and a half thousand pound winch sitting in the front of this bar. Really easy to get to as well. You undo these two eyelets and the whole bar just folds forward. So really easy to get to this winch, get it in and out, work on it, etc., etc. Now these side mirrors, awesome. You can see everything. They're actually heated. So if uh, it's on a cold morning, you know, everyone knows if you leave your car outside, can't see out the window, out the mirror. These actually heat, do, do all the business for you, make it all clear. Cab's pretty standard, I guess. Um, they put these flares on for the wider tyres. These tyres are a 305 70 R19.5. Uh, the tyre is Founders Mud Terrain, and um, the rim is a super single, 19.5 inch super single uh, from All Terrain Warriors. Now, this tyre and rim setup lets, lets us contain our full GVM of 7.5 tonnes and the full GCM of 11 tonne. So, uh, there's some pretty big numbers to throw around uh, for tow vehicles. This is a modified front step. Um, because of the bigger tyres, they have to modify the front step um, so it all fits and you've got plenty of clearance around your tyres. <laughs> On the inside of this, ATW parabolic suspension uh, with the shockies. Smoother ride, pretty smooth with a, just a rubber bump stop. We didn't go the airbags, um, just something else to go wrong, we thought. Might do it later on down the track, but um, we'll see. Um, standard rear step, standard air intake. We may change that later or just um, silicon it up. And then sitting here, we got two two spares. So we went two spares because these tyres aren't the easiest to, to find. 
uh, and a rim. So if we do a tyre when we're out somewhere, I doubt highly that the ordinary tyre shops are going to have tyres for this truck. So we went two just to be safe, um, and we had the space for it. <laughs> So down here, 140 litre diesel tank, that's just standard. You can get another one on the other side, but I'll show you what we've done instead of that. It's probably a much cheaper option. <laughs> but moving down backwards, back wheel, same tyre as the front, interchangeable super singles from front and rear, so it doesn't, doesn't matter where the tyres go. Rear parabolic suspension from all terrain warriors again. Whilst we're down here, I'll show you the tray. Now this tray was built from RSK Welding in Wollongong, and it's actually a spring mount tray. And if you don't know um, what a spring mount tray is, these trucks, the chassis flexes a lot more than a normal car. And that lets it um, move independently, tray and chassis. So it um, reduces, you know, fatigue cracking um, and all that sort of thing. Um, it's probably one of the major difference between cars and trucks, I guess. Spring mount tray, it's a three and a half meter tray. We went with a steel tray um, just for the strength. Uh, we have plenty of weight uh, capacity, so yeah. Three and a half meter steel tray. And then sitting on that tray is this. It's a Muras aluminium canopy. The main box is 1600 mil, and then these rear boxes are roughly 800 mil. So I think that's what, 2.4, yeah, 2.4 metres long of canopy, um, plenty of width, it's 2.2 metres wide. Um, the the colour is texture black in powder coat, and the, and the doors are a white pearl, I think. Um, but in this side of the canopy, we have lights at the top, we're running the projector uh, system. This is similar to what we've got in our caravan, a massive system. A 400 amp lithium battery that sits at the back, 2000 watt inverter charger, and the AC charging capabilities of this is 120 amps per hour, which is pretty massive. Uh, it's got a 40 amp solar controller, a 30 amp DC to DC, so that's your car. Um, and then it's actually got a switching panel that runs all the loads into the back of it, which I'll show you over on the other side of the canopy where the little readout is for that. But essentially, Everything in this canopy is turned on by our little seven inch monitor. So it's got water pumps, lights, inverter, everything that's turned on is turned on on this monitor. Pretty um, cool battery system this. Um, projector have done a really good job and it's really innovative. Then we've got a, um, a little plastic angle that doubles for a fridge for the boat. And for this side, we're running it as a freezer at the moment. And then all the rest in here is just storage. We've got a pram and a shovel here in here at the moment, but this is just gonna be bulk storage. Um, we may or may not use. Um, the main bit of this box is all three mil aluminium. So it's got heaps of strength. And then moving on to the back, back section, these little bits are four mil. Um, and we did four mil because as you can see, that's where the boat trailer sits and all the weight from the boat. Um, and it's got plenty of uh, internal structural members that really beef it up to take that load. Um, these boxes are just empty at the moment. They're just bulk storage. This side has a, a air compressor in it, a 24 volt air compressor. It's got dual outlets, uh, a, a air tank, and yeah, a little motor that sits behind that. All right, moving round to the back of the, of the canopy. On the back there, there is Max tracks up top. There's four jerry can holders and a spare wheel. And in behind those jerry cans is actually some little ramps, some jockey wheels and all that to, that we use to get the boat on and off. So the reason we went with jerry cans rather than um, a fuel cell or an extra tank for this is just so we can carry pe uh, petrol for the boat and diesel for the truck. Now, 140 litre uh, main tank we got in the truck and we have the 80 litres of jerry cans with diesel and then 40 litres with petrol. So, I mean, that should be heaps for us for what we want to do. Um, yeah, we couldn't see the point in paying three grand for the extra fuel tank. And then just tray space for um, firewood or, or whatever, um, dirty gear. And that's, that's pretty well it for the back. We've kept it pretty simple. All right, moving down, you obviously got the tray, um, tray sides. And then moving down here, we've got a Gen Y hitch for towing. Um, so if you don't know, truck suspension is a little bit different to a car. It's probably not the, the same ride quality. 
Um, so they put the suspension hitches so the car and caravan move independently, I guess you could say. Um, just softens the ride on the caravan so you don't break your caravan, essentially. And then sitting on here, the rear bar, this is an all-terrain warriors rear winch cradle bar. So it's a four and a half ton tow bar, um, 450 kilo ball weight you're allowed to have. And then obviously this is a winch cradle. So we've got a 17 and a half thousand pound Runva winch sitting in the back there, front and rear. So um, plenty of uh, pulling power. We thought, you know, if we get stuck, there's probably not gonna be too many people that are gonna be able to pull this um, this truck out. So having that rear bar, uh, rear winch, sorry, is uh, just a bit of insurance. <laughs> and then moving on to this business end of the canopy. So this side of the canopy is all fit out with drawers. Um, at the back, there is a drawer with an in-built, um, routed in, flush-mounted chopping board. So the guys at Muras had done that for us. We didn't even know, it was pretty cool. So you've got a slide out kitchen with a drawer above it and then another drawer above that. Um, and then a storage thing that goes all the way through that we've got to probably put some fishing rods and all that. Moving forward, we've got a, a pantry, a slide out pantry. I learned absolutely love this thing. And then another drawer below that. Moving forward to the fridge, it's an 80 litre Dometic fridge, um, plenty of room, it's a fridge and a freezer, upright, uh, fits in there nice and snug. And then moving on to the control board. So this is what I'm talking about, we've got USB points um, down the bottom, a power point that runs off the inverter, and then this is what everything is controlled by. So this is the projector um, monitor, and that turns lights on, everything like that. Just an absolute banging system. And obviously on this side as well, we got lights as well. Orange and white. Outside the canopy now, we got the tires. This is a water fill point that goes to a 50 litre under tray water tank. Uh, we just went with 50 litres because that's all we really need. We've got the caravan behind us um, and we're, we're gonna get a bladder. Uh, moving forward to the front of the tray, it's got a little tap as well. Obviously, two 12 volt batteries, um, which makes our 24 volt system, and then all our fuse boxes and all that that um, we got from YSI Electrical. All right, moving to the top of the truck, which is probably the highlight for, for us. Elenia will not admit it, but she loves the boat. Um, so we've got a 30 second awning. This is a 2.6 metre wrap around awning. And it wraps around the side, the kitchen side of the truck, and obviously around the back of the truck. Now, sitting on top of the canopy is real naughty. <laughs> Susie and real naughty. So real naughty is a 4.2 metre aluminium boat. It's an Aquamaster is the brand with a 40 horsepower Merc sitting on the back. Um, Open boat, tiller steer, over the moon with it. Um, really high sides for when we're up in crop country. And it sits on a trailer that the drawbar um, we can take off and store elsewhere. And it actually mounts to the headboard. So we try to get everything on this truck sitting as low as possible. And this was the solution we came up with. Um, and I think it looks pretty, pretty good. The only drawback is we have to move the boat back a little bit to open the rooftop tent. Um, takes about 10 minutes to do that. Um, a lot of the time we're probably not gonna have the boat on when we're using the rooftop tent, so it was just a compromise. Um, if we move the boat back, the boat was sitting too far back. Anyway, moving up to the rooftop tent. The rooftop tent is a MoTop four-person fold-out tent. Uh, awesome bit, we can all fit up in there and have a sleep. This is the reason we got it. On the top of that is a 225 watt solar panel, and all that sits on the all-terrain roof rack, which wraps around into that front bar, which I showed you right at the start. So that about wraps it up. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into a truck like this because nothing is really standard. We've had to actually think of everything because there's not too many like this on the road. Um, so everything you see here we've planned, uh, we've either fabbed it ourselves or got it fabricated, um, and now it is what you see. <laughs> so that's it, that's a wrap for, for Susie. Big old Suze. Yeah, we're over the moon, eh, with how these things turned out. Um, yeah, a lot of work's gone into it. A lot. Yeah. A lot. And now we can finally start to use it for what it was built for. Yep. 
and we're leaving tomorrow. Yeah. So <laughs> stay tuned for all the adventures and upcoming mistakes or whatever <laughs> that's going to come with this. <laughs> there will be mistakes. This thing will get bogged more times than we can probably. Well, our tell. aim is to put the tyres down. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? I think that's going to be a pretty big key in this. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it? <laughs> anyway. Let's we'll, see uh, if he does it. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see what this thing can do. Everyone, thanks for watching us. Um, take it easy. Support. Thanks, we'll see you guys. on the next one.